हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मोर्चे ने वीडियो कोडेड टुडेज वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड आई एम रियली वेरी नर्वस एज वेल बिकॉज टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट एम कोलकाता अर्लियर नोन एज डी एंड टुडे नोन एज आई एम यू कोलकाता वाई आई एम नर्वस बिकॉज दिस इज अबाउट माई ओन अलमा मैटर वेर स्टडीड फोर ईयर्स टूडे वॉट एवर आई एम एंड वॉट एवर आई विल बी अ बिग चंक ऑफ दैट सक्सेस बिलोंग्स टू दिस place out here that is mri kolkata so without wasting any time let me just start so first of all marine engineering from where did it start it started at in 1935 at training ship dufferin this was the first training ship on which first initially it was employed in 1927 where only decades or executive decades were trained but in 1935 we decided that not only 25 decades but also 25 engineering cadets will be trained on the ship that was in 1935 our first marine engineers who were indians trained in india were pro started producing out here on the recommendation of the merchant navy officers training committee constituted in 1947 by the government of india so they decided that this pre sea training of marine engineers was transferred ashore under a new name that is directorate marine engine training so what does that mean earlier we were training on a training ship that was ts different so they said let us bring it ashore and call it the directorate of marine engineering training the photos that you see over here are of the latest campus not the old one so dmet began operations on 10th august 1949 and it was started under the uh, prestigious presence of pandit jawahar lal nehru in 1949 it was started in the gora chand road in park circus calcutta with a total intake of just 50 students and then in 1953 this whole setup was shifted to the present location that is in taratala p19 taratala road and in it this is the building that you can see right the new building in calcutta was inaugurated by the then prime minister jawaharlal nehru along with that the transport minister lal bahadur shastri was present there so it was inaugurated 1953 the intake was increased to 60 students and then 100 in the subsequent year in 1962 okay from 50 it became 60 and then from 60 it became 100 in the year 1962 you can see the photographs of march past and everything over here in 1977 78 an expert committee was launched which was headed by professor shankar lal an ex director of uh, iit khadakpur and a special curriculum was redesigned for marine engineers the indian marine engineers became synonymous with dmt i cannot call of a single shipping company today where a person in the management or sailing is not a dmtian or is not a part of mri kolkata is not a part of mri kolkata campus it is not possible so almost every major shipping company in the world has at least one dmtian its onshore management personnel or floating staff DMT was renamed Marine Engineering Research Institute in the year 1995 that is where i studied and at that time the entrance was through iit so in 2008 meri kolkata became a part of indian maritime university and it was renamed as indian maritime university kolkata campus and now the exams were conducted through the imu cet common entrance test so a student has to give this test and as per the good rank they get into this college in 2023 total intake was btech 246 students mtech 20 and mba 15 students so dmt meri kolkata students graduates they did not just do well in shipping they did beyond that they opened their own shipping companies own workshops and much more a few examples that i've got is jagmeet makkar sir He is a independent arbitrator and mediator, shipping expert, chairman, chartered ship brokers, Hong Kong branch, chair IMU. Mr. Sanjeev Mishra sir, he is zero six. Those people who are from MIR Kolkata, they understand same roll number as mine. President Singapore Alumni Association, head of section Date Center Asia at DNB Maritime. Mr. Debasi is Mazumdar, CEO of MD at Seed Maritime UK Limited. Commander Gaurav Agarwal. Uh, former secretary dmeca manish pradhan sir anglo eastern ship management managing director mr sharad gupta sir managing director signus marine hong kong limited 
मिस्टर शेरनाथ मेडपल्ली बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट मैनेजर विलियमसन शिप मैनेजमेंट संजय दीक्षित सर आई रिटायर्ड राइट नाउ चेयरमैन जयपुर डायलॉग्स फोरम फॉर्मर एडिशनल चीफ सेक्रेटरी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ राजस्थान एक्स प्रेसिडेंट राजस्थान क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन सुनील कपूर सर डायरेक्टर एट एफ शिप मैनेजमेंट लिमिटेड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट There is one photograph that is missing over here because I am going to make a separate video on that, and that is of Ravi Mehrotra sir. Ravi Mehrotra sir is a pass out of DMT. He was working in SCI, sailed as a chief engineer, then joined the management team. After that, started his own company called Foresight Group. Today, if I would say that he is the most successful, most famous, and most down to earth seafarer, it won't be wrong. I had a chance. just for 5 minutes to meet him and take his blessings and i assure you all one thing that i'll be covering his story because we need such inspiring stories guys in computer science have sundar pichai they have steve jobs we need stories like or that of ravi manotra sir and that's gonna come soon with this all i can say is thank you very much jai hind jai bharat jai mata di in this video there are going to be some mistakes please forgive me for that thank you very much